job. You ready? We made it, buddy. <laughs> you excited? Um, you literally can park anywhere in Japan. That's one of the things here. There's like literally no parking rules. It's crazy. So I'm just in the middle of the road, basically. Okay, I got my reusable bag so I can pick up trash. And I just wanted to bring Denari to the beach today, as you can see. This, I haven't been here in a couple months. But like one week you can go and you can clean it up and there's, and then, you know, there's nothing there. And then you come back in one week and there's just an absurd amount of trash. Oh, it's getting terrible. Oh my gosh, this is making me so sad because I don't have enough bags, I don't have enough arms to get all this. Also, sorry in advance for the wind. It's probably pretty terrible. It's a little windy right now. It's just crazy though, like, I don't even know where to begin. It just sucks on days like these where I don't have enough bags or enough time or enough ways to carry. Go, buddy. Because I have to prioritize the litter. I, because obviously I can't pick it out all up. So I have to sit here and determine, okay, what's the most important? What can I like sacrifice to leave here right now? And it's so hard too because there's so many bottles and I don't want to leave any plastic here. It's also not great to leave cans and glass. And I'm glad that I even picked up some bags to bring. Because like I almost didn't grab any bag because the, I've been here like three times and there's never been more than a bag full of trash. Oh my gosh, look at this pile of styrofoam. And there's like four buoys and I'm just really overwhelmed and I don't know what to do. I guess I'm going to try to take as much as I can obviously and try to maybe crush the bottles so I can fit more in my bag. Come on! Come here beach boy! Nice. I'm gonna talk about something I really hate. So if you do it, please stop. This nonsense. When you do your dip or your sunflower seeds or whatever the heck you wanna stuff inside of your plastic water bottles, stop doing it. When you do that crap and you put all your nastiness inside of a water bottle, even if you just stuff like a napkin or a straw inside your water bottle, it is no longer recyclable. And it makes me very mad and I guarantee you as an American. I already filled up a bag. Um, I don't think I was even picking up litter for five minutes. That I pick up so much litter that I am now able to distinguish like from here to the ground what's natural and what's not based off of like the texture, the material, the, sh the shape. So here's my bag. I already have full. I'm gonna pick up some more. No, we're not leaving. This way. No, not up there. Good boy. Hi, buddy. Oh my gosh, look here. Hey, look up here. Because <laughs> this is insane. I have never seen this much trash at this beach and now I'm gonna have to come back with some friends and some more bags because this is absolutely insane and it makes me really sad. And I think a common misconception with a lot of people is that they'll come out here and they'll partake in beach cleanups and they'll think they're doing a great thing for the earth. And like, don't get me wrong, they are. I'm not like downplaying their efforts. I think beach cleanups and park cleanups and literally cleaning up trash even in the middle of a continent is amazing because it's stopping this litter from ending up in the ocean and on the beaches in the first place. But what makes me mad too is that when these people do these beach cleanups and then they just go right back to their wasteful lifestyles.
Good boy. What in the world? A light bulb. Our small changes do have a big impact in the long run. If you've seen my videos before, you know I believe that. But also, like, we shouldn't stop there. You shouldn't just stop at beach cleanups. You should stop at trying to reduce as much plastic as possible. And then once you cut out most plastic in your life, go farther and try to cut out even more stuff because it's not just plastic. I'm seeing styrofoam, I'm seeing glass, I'm seeing cans, I'm seeing fishing equipment. We need to just be conscious of what we consume, especially if you're a person who's passionate about the environment and seeing litter infuriates you and seeing pollution infuriates you. Use that anger, if you will, to inspire you to be more conscious. Okay, I just lost Danahi. Danahi, where did you go? Where are you going? Okay, I have to stop this. Oh my gosh. Good boy, let's go back that way. I think every effort towards sustainability is amazing, even if that is picking up trash. I'm just gonna show you another pile of garbage. So what if you help pick this up? If you just keep contributing to it yourself. And that's what inspired me. <gasps> Do not even look a ball! Look! Ready? Go get it! Seriously? Come on. Gosh, I keep getting so distracted. That's what inspired me, is that seeing all this, why should I be a part of the problem? And I hope that's kind of what inspires you today. This is all I was able to carry, three bags, and there's still all this left, and I'm really sad. You don't have to go completely zero waste. It is okay to produce waste. The most important thing is to just be conscious. Do I need this item? Can I find it in a different material? Can I find it unpackaged? Knowing when to recycle things, when to throw things away, Let's go. Good boy. Come on, buddy. I've decided on my on my walk back to the car, I'm gonna come back tomorrow with more bags. I left all my other reusable bags at home. I wanted to, I wanted to do like a vlog slash meaningful video. I don't just wanna like vlog, you know? Still kinda stick with my with my content. Here's a quick shot of what I have already. I've got these two bags right here, and then this bag right here. Okay, we're back. Day two of the beach cleanup. I just got in my car. There's my house. I have the rest of my bags. I didn't take any of the trash out of my car, though, so... This is very awkward. So this beach... It sits like right underneath a cemetery, but I'm pretty sure there's a funeral happening. I'm gonna have to come back next weekend because I really wanna get all this trash, but I am certainly not about to walk down there. So I'm gonna go find another beach because I guarantee you if this little cove has trash, the other ones probably have trash. But there's people down here, so. I don't want to film in front of people. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna still go scope it out and we'll see. I think I'm just gonna chill out here for a few minutes until they leave because there's some trash over there and I don't want to bother them. This is it. Just one bag of like actual trash and then three, what do you call those, buoys? Eleven batteries. Dispose of your stuff correctly because batteries do not belong right by the ocean. Please recycle your batteries and then once you're done with your single-use batteries, I mean I guess they're multi-use, get some rechargeable batteries. <laughs> Those things are awesome. They save you so much money and save so much waste. Batteries are incredibly wasteful. Hello 
guys, it is editing me. I am finally editing this video. It is late April. I think it's been like a month and a half since I did this beach cleanup, but I just wanted to point out one thing, but I could not gather all the trash during this visit. So for the next three weeks following the recording of this video, Dan and I went back every single weekend. And finally, after four times going to this beach, four carloads of trash, we finally cleaned it all up. We probably gathered a couple hundred pounds of trash from just this one beach. This beach is so tiny, maybe a hundred meters. The sheer amount of trash that we found on just this one beach blows my mind. We are just one stop on the way to the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and we gathered hundreds of pounds of trash from 100 meters of beach. I just wanna highlight that it doesn't matter if you live as far inland as Kansas, please pick up litter. It will find its way to the ocean. It's, it will find its way into some animal's food. Please pick up your litter and please do what you can to reduce your waste in the first place before it even makes it to a landfill to recycling or worse situation to our beaches. I hope that this video inspires you to not only take action post-consumption, but pre-consumption as well. I've said this so many times in this video, so many times on my channel, we need to be conscious consumers. Think about what we buy, think about who we're giving our money to, and then think of the long-term consequences as well. Because, I mean, even when we put stuff in our trash bin, even when we put stuff in our recycle bin, it doesn't mean it's gonna end up in a landfill or transformed into something else. It could very well end up on beaches. Animals are gonna eat it, we're gonna eat those animals, it's gonna get in our drinking water. Not only is our actions important when it comes to recycling and upcycling and doing beach cleanups, but we need to think about what we buy. Try to avoid single-use items when possible, not just plastic, glass, and metal, and cardboard as well. Please avoid styrofoam at all costs. Styrofoam is the worst. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like this vlog style type of video. I hope you learned something as well. I found a rock. It's really cool. Come back. Come down here. No, the no he. Ooh, a rock. How many times am I gonna do that? I've missed summer. So glad it's. <laughs> There's a motorcycle. Ew. You okay? Okay, I apologize for the wind. It's. I'm kind of like in a little coat. Okay, there's some wind.